I got two things. Um, do your homework. Mm, yeah. Do your homework. I, I am, I am amazed at um, the number of people that don't do that. They don't take the time to do their homework, um, and that includes this idea of like getting command of your instrument. You know, I, I've been singing songs and getting somebody's been paying me some amount of money for doing that for 37 years or more now I kind of have stopped counting at this point I figured I guess this is now my job by now and um, I still do vocal warm-ups I still do them I still want to be sure that I have command of my instrument you know um, I still do a lot of homework um, and so I'm grateful for that and the other piece is tell the truth if on the bandstand live or in the studio, please tell the truth. Whatever it takes for you to get to a place where you can tell the truth, because that's the uh, dakain, as they say in Hawaii, that's the meat. That's what connects me to the listener, whether that's live or in the, in the studio, um, or in your car or on your headphones. That's what connects me to the listener is the, is the truth. Uh, um, there's plenty of people that are just not doing that. Uh, I don't want to do that, but I, I wish that more people would tell the truth because I think it sustains. I think it's a healing thing in the end. Hmm. Cool. Nice. I would say, and, and I produce a lot of different artists, so I probably have come, come from a slightly different viewpoint. I would say now more than ever, but this is always true at, in art, you need to gut check and make sure that what you do is not just something you love, but something you cannot do without, or you will not stay fed long enough to yeah. become successful. This is something that's really difficult these days because it's, everything's a little quicker, but, uh, and I was an artist before I was a producer, and I'm fully aware of this idea that you have to totally be willing to fail, you have to have balls of steel, and you, it can't be something that you can, that you can not do. It has to be something that you simply must do yeah. or you will run out of gas at one point and just you'll chicken out and you'll stop and it's not going to happen. The people that I work with, they're just driven. They might not even be doing everything right all the time or well even particularly, but the one thing is you look at them and you just know they're not going to stop till something happens. Doesn't mean something will happen, but if they don't have that feeling, it's not going to happen. I mean, very rarely. So that's, that's my thing that I think today it's it's different than it was 10 or 15 years ago. It's so easy to record, it's so easy to write your music, it's so easy to be a producer or an engineer or get a little Pro Tools rig or something like that. It seems pretty easy, and it's not easy. It's really, really hard. So that's my thing, is just make sure that you're in it for the long haul, and if you're not, do yourself a favor. Go get a job, that's what I say. Yeah, make room for the people behind you that will have that level of commitment. Yeah, and then also all the truth stuff that she said too. Ha <laughs> ha!